I'm Jeff Strug with Site Design Concepts, and today we're doing a base mapping survey. The first thing we do after arriving at a site is finding suitable locations for our survey control points or traverse points. These points will be used as a baseline or network for our entire survey. After setting the control, we either assign local coordinates to one of the points or, in most cases, use GPS technology to determine latitude and longitude coordinates for two or more points. These coordinates will be post-processed to increase the accuracy of the coordinates. All of the survey measurements will be based on the control points. Control point accuracy is vital to the precision of the survey. The gun has been set on control point 1 and Jeff is back sighting to point 2 that was previously shot with the GPS receiver. The back sight checked within three thousandths of a foot, which is less than a quarter of an inch. This margin of error is small enough to ensure an accurate survey. It's important to note that all measurements contain some error. There is no perfect measurement. It is the responsibility of every field surveyor to calibrate their equipment and to use consistent measurement techniques to reduce errors as much as possible. Once we have checked our back site and verified the accuracy of our coordinates, we can begin the site survey. In this case, we began the survey by locating concrete curb and existing edge of pavement for the site. Once the site survey is complete, the information is taken from our robotic total station and downloaded into AutoCAD. From there, the survey team uses the measurements to create an existing grade surface, finalize line work of the existing features and labels as necessary to create a base map of the property. The surveyors then work with our clients and design team to prepare sustainable, dynamic, and creative land development solutions.